Okay, I'm going to be demonstrating how to install a 9910929 adapter on this GMC 3500. It's a 2009. Okay, first, you're going to want to remove the, the upper shroud uh, above the radiator by taking off each individual clip. Uh, just pull up, use a screwdriver, remove each one. Once you get them all off, it'll lift right up. Okay, then you'll uh, remove the upper shroud. And then you're going to be taking out the four bolts that hold the upper part of the grill in using a 10 millimeter socket and a ratchet. Once all four bolts are removed from the top, there's a total of six clips on the grill itself. There's two here, one top, one lower, and one on the side over here. And it's mirrored the same on the opposite side, on the, on the driver's side also. Remove all six clips. That allows the grill to have flex and movement. Then, remove these two bolts on the upper part of the headlight housing. And then also, come in the fender shroud. You're gonna take off these clips and a couple of the small bolts to get inside and there's one more screw inside that holds on the headlight to the, to the truck. Okay, once you've removed the bolt and the two, the two clips, the fasteners, uh, you'll open this up and inside, it's kind of hard to see, but inside of there, there's another bolt. You remove that. Once that comes out from the headlight, loose, there is one clip on the back side right in here It needs to be slid sideways, can't just be snapped out, you'll break that clip off. So because you've removed the clips and the bolts on the, on the grill, you can open it up or bend it forward wide enough that you can slide the headlight sideways and then it will come and pop right out. Next you're going to take your EIS main harness. And you're gonna route it through the inside of here, bringing the black connectors out, connecting them, and routing each side into where the headlight goes to accept the adapter. You're going to then locate uh, your turn signal wires. Um, there's a primary and there's a secondary. The way you can tell is the secondary, the secondary is the one you're looking for, has four wires going, running to the bulb itself. One black, two green, and this brown on this headlight. So what you're going to do then is you're going to find the wire with the diode that has the red and the butt connector on it and you're going to at a suitable distance find the turn signal wire by using a test light or a meter and you'll cut it in half and the red wire connects to the wire coming out of the secondary bulb or the bulb that has the four wires coming from it. The gray wire with the diode, you will butt, butt connector to the opposite wire coming from the primary bulb. After that, you will then take the supplied connector that matches up with the factory connector on the light and you will plug them together. You'll then connect the main harness from the truck to the supplied adapter connector, plug them together, and you'll take your, your male green connector and plug it into your supplied female EIS harness. Set the secondary lock and it is complete. Then you turn the truck on and test your connections after you've done the same with the driver's side. The only difference with the driver's side is that the gray wire with the diode has now changed to a yellow wire. Other than that, the instructions are the same. After verifying that your headlights are functional and your blinkers are blinking at the correct pace on both your plow lights and your truck lights, so you're having to plug a set of plow lights into your truck and also verify now when you plug the EIS harness back in together, that everything is functioning properly on the truck.
Once you verify that, reassembly is just the reverse of the disassemble of both the lights and the grill.